It's Primetime Click with Jiminy's special guests, Andy Richter. You have a very specific blandness to your voice and a nothingness. Mm -hmm. It's Can I better. A, uh, gumdrop? Sure, go ahead. And, and. <laughs> and Alec Baldwin. Let's talk about some of the leading ladies you've had. Pepper Harry. She couldn't get enough of it. <laughs> You did Blondie. She's not so Blondie, to tell you the truth. <laughs> I think I know what you mean. I'm Adrian Van Voorhees, and am I the only one who needs a Glick fix? No, Damn straight. Ladies and gentlemen, Jiminy. Hold the phone, yo. Who are those two dudes standing neath that street lamp? Oh, man. <laughs> The girl found me. Oh my God, she's so fly. And doesn't she know it? She's off the hook. She's banging me. And yet she specifically said to me that she would give me some loving. And now she's trying to renege. Man, there is no way you'd ever get a girl like that, man. Chris, I can get her. I guarantee you, Tubby, you can't get that girl. Bet you a dozen donuts I can. All right then. Come on. Come on. Watch. I didn't see you now, didn't you? Uh huh. Uh -huh. You trying to sneak by me now, didn't you? Uh huh. Uh -huh. Now give me what you promised to me. Give it to me. Come on. <laughs> you promised me the day that you quit your boyfriend, <laughs> and all I'd be the next one to ease on him. <laughs> you promised me it would be just a few. <laughs> And oh, I'd be the only man kissing on you. <laughs> now hold it. Hold it a long time. Hold it. Don't turn it loose now. Give it here. Give it here. Give it here. Give it here to me now. The girl's all right now. Oh my goodness, oh my goodness, oh my gracious, oh my goodness, dear. Oh, I love celebrating that wonderful hip hop sensibility. <laughs> that was the opening number from our brand new nightclub act, which we've been touring in the Deep South. And when I say Deep South, I mean Northern Mexico. <laughs> At any rate, if you've never seen me and Adrian Van Voorhees and the Adrian Van Voorhees <laughs> 7 do a little review featuring song, dance, and hypnosis, time permitting. <laughs> Once I convince him to be a shih tzu, and he pees on a lady in the third row. <laughs> I was so under, I thought she was a hydrant. Uh, and later on in the show, we did some improv. And I suppose it's our homage to the Who's Line gang. Except ours is written and rehearsed, so it's, you know, not so chancy. In fact, we've just been booked into the Lester Maddox Playhouse and Grill in Tupelo, Mississippi. When is that date, Adrian? Uh, New Year's Eve, 2004. Oh, good Lord, that baby is creeping up on us. We better get rehearsing, boy. Yes. <laughs> and I'm going to have to start cutting out those desserts with all those new costume changes we've added. You know, I'm sure that dinner we had last week didn't help either. Oh, my God, <laughs> it's so deadent. My wife, Dixie, and I went out with Adrian and his child bride, Effie. Uh, correction, Effie turned 18 a fortnight ago. Well, then she's had work done because she doesn't look a day over 13. Where is she? You hear that, Effie? <laughs> oh! Anyways, we all had dinner at a wonderful restaurant in Adrian's neighborhood. Delicious Greek food with a dollop of spice from Thailand. Yes, and silly me, when I heard that it was Greek Thai, I assumed it was a dress code, so I wore my tuxedo with a picture of Yanni on it. <laughs> <laughs> Unfortunately, the evening was marred by Doris Roberts, of all people, who happened to be sitting at the next table. So I got this. They bring over my Slovaki with peanut sauce, and Robert claims it's hers, right? Is that the way it happened, Adrian? Yes. Yes, and when I won't hand it over, she whips out a Swiss Army knife and starts cutting me. Mm. Take a gander. My kid's been playing tic-tac-toe. 
In any event, we've got a super show lined up for you. Do we not, Adrian? Yes, we do. Yes, we do. So stick around, and I'm guessing quite a few of you will not be disappointed. And Adrian, lay a little more of that hot buttered funk on my fat. <laughs> Jiminy talks to Andy Richter when we return. Yo, dude, this party's a downer. I know how to liven things up. Attorney General John Ashcroft's party jokes, too. So the African-American congressman said to the diminutive Asian-American lobbyist, sure, I'll whip it out, homeboy but only enough to win. He's talking about you. <laughs> it's like having Attorney General John Ashcroft telling jokes right in your own home. So the Democrat said to the Independent, did you hear about the visually impaired hooker? You had to hand it to her. Is this thing on? <laughs> With John Ashcroft's party jokes, too, you'll get hysterical jokes like the hooker and the Sri Lankan envoy, the majority whip and the dominatrix, the Jew, the Catholic, and the Protestant hooker, subcommittee skid marks, and many more. Plus, order now and you'll also receive the best of John Ashcroft's party jokes with classic John Ashcroft favorites such as... I sold the white dildo for $5 that black dildo for $20 and your thermos for $250. I laughed and I'm gay. I laughed and I'm a visually impaired hooker. That's because you have me here. <laughs> John Ashcroft's party jokes too. You'll laugh your Ashcroft. Ah! Not available in stores.